my name is Casey Crow, and today I'm going to be going over a revision for my Southeast Asian Geography course for 7th graders. So right now I'm in student view on my page. I'm going to go over, if you click home right here, it takes us to this page getting started. And I have this picture of a bridge in Vietnam to represent Southeast Asian geography. And this was a suggestion uh, made by Ms. Harver on my part that I change the front page from the syllabus, which is right here, to a new page. And so this is actually a page, if you go to modules, getting started, uh, this is where the course will start you off at. And it tells you what you need to do. And she said this would be a more easy way for uh, seventh graders, which would be 12 and 13 year olds, to digest a format. So this is the first thing I did to change. Uh, the other thing I did to change was that my syllabus used to be a lot uh, less compliant with Oscar. And that's something that uh, my professional r r uh, my professional uh, expert help pointed out that I needed to make it in line with Oscar and so OSCQR. So I'll show you right here. We're going to leave student view. Originally, if you go here, you see I've unpublished it with the little ghost Ghostbuster symbol right here. But this was originally what my syllabus looked like. And you can see that it's very bare bones and doesn't give all the information you need. And it's not really compliant with the information that is supposed to be on an Oscar syllabus. So I've unpublished this. So now if you go to syllabus, you now have the full syllabus with the grading scale, weights, all the different modules, uh, policies, academic grievances, accommodations, and then any kinds of resources for department and school phone numbers for my school, which is Carver Road Middle School in Griffin, Georgia. He's also got all of the assignments down here, including discussion, assignment, and the final exam. A lot better, a lot more uh, holistic. But that also made it, this change also made it a little bit more weighty for a place to start. Uh, my bare bones syllabus was an okay place to start, but it wasn't a good syllabus. So I put the syllabus in a more whole and comprehensive form, but then I changed the home page from the syllabus to this, which is a lot more digestible. And this tells you that the first of all, you need to go to modules to start your program when you're doing this course that has everything you need. Second of all, you can go to people to see who's in the course. Right now, there's no one in the course other than me. But if it was on the old course before I copied it, there would have been 10 students plus Dr. Wilcox. Uh, and finally, it tells you to go click on syllabus and read the whole syllabus. And like it says, the syllabus is your all-in-one mega page to answer all of your confusions and questions. And as a fourth kind of final point, I say, hey, if any of this doesn't make sense or is confusing, reach out to me. Here's my phone number. Here's my email. Here's my office hours. So any seventh grader should be able to look from this page, read it in about 60 seconds, and figure out exactly what they need to do to get started. That's a huge improvement from where it was before. So moving on, I have my design document right here, and I've documented all the changes I've made as I've made them. Originally, I had things set up in my files. You'd have to go to Files, Geography Lesson, and this is where you would get the things you needed. And then you'd have to go to Assignments and do the assignments that way. Uh, that was obviously very cumbersome and difficult for people to figure out, and that was the feedback I got while giving out the course. So I put everything in a more comprehensive module system, which if you look from student view, very doable, very doable. Four modules, one intro module and um, all the files you need are right here. Much more visually digestible than this, and then this, and then this. It's just 
what what is all this what what is this what is this what is all this all this the information about file size and modified and date created and you know these little sub files down here it's all very confusing and messy but if you just go to modules look at that so much easier to see now another thing i did was i cleaned up we leave student view i cleaned up a lot of things there was a lot of superfluous assignments so the discussions were here and here discussions already had the questions you need on them uh, right here if you click right here it'll tell you here are the questions you need to answer for a discussion on a word document now before i had had that as well as the word document on there but i unpublished it with this ghostbusters symbol to get rid of the superfluousness of it. That was a suggestion made by uh, Ms. Harper. Great suggestion. Uh, another thing I did that really helped clear the clutter out was, you see how many tabs this is? It's just really unwieldy. So I ended up getting rid of big blue button, Office 365, Google Drive, chat, collaborations, quizzes, rubrics, announcements, and files. I got rid of all of those. So when you go to student view, look at how much nicer that is. Home to take you to getting started, assignments, announcements, discussions, grades, people, pages, uh, syllabus, and modules. So, very simple. I added in this. Uh, hello, I'm Mr. Casey. Or hello, I'm Mr. Crow, rather. Uh, which is just a little slideshow introducing me. Even if this was an asynchronous class, having this kind of, uh, here's my school I went to, Georgia Tech in East Georgia, here's my favorite book, here's my favorite instrument, here's the instrument that I play, here's some of my favorite games, just a little way to introduce myself to the students, try and kind of uh, relate to them. I'm also wearing a Minecraft shirt here, I find that having the things that you can talk about with the kids and relate with them makes them... Um, let their guard down a little bit and, you know, give you a little bit more leeway as a teacher. Some final things on my design document. Um, I went through and did a complete proofread. I went through and got rid of any grammar or spelling mistakes that I could find. And I also just mainly cut the fat. So you look here at modules and you look at the teacher view the fact that this is gone helps a lot because this is now set up into two it's set up into a getting started and a syllabus before it was this page and the files page and after it was uh, a much easier way for students to go along. I also added in the Carver Road philosophy and mission statement to make it more whole in terms of aligning everything to how my school does things. Finally, I want to look at the uh, the the feedback I got mainly from Dr. Glover was that I needed to be more Oscar compliant by changing things to PDFs. So I changed uh, files over to PDFs when I could. But Ms. Harvey's advice was probably the best in the, in the face of not that I didn't have enough, but that I had too much and too much redundancy. And by cutting back on redundancy and superfluous links, I really like made it more visually digestible and that really made the course more powerful so we're going to go here i actually meant to do this before recording the video but i'll do it now because now is the perfect time we're going to go home and we're going to go publish and now this course is online and now we can see it so thank you for being here today with me and watching me publish this course i believe that the revisions i went through on this uh, change log as well as the feedback I got from my peers here from 
Miss Harvey, Miss Frazier, and Dr. Glover uh, has really helped me to take this course to the next level. And I now I believe that it's a great course for four weeks for students uh, in seventh grade learning Southeast Asian geography. So I appreciate taking the time today to look at everything I've done. And I know that after having this feedback in this course, that my skills in designing online asynchronous learning have definitely leaped forward by bounds.